Up for sale today, I have a 1936 Dodge D2 Coupe. The story on this car is awesome. I'm going to tell you about it, but first I'm going to walk around, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive. So if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you. So let me tell you a little bit about this car. 36 Dodge D2 Coupe. It is a previous zero rust barn find found, and the guy spent 10 years doing a nut and bolt restoration on it. The car is the nicest car that I've had, and I've owned a lot of cars. I have a little bit of history on it. I'm going to go back there and I'll show you. Not too many flaws on it. It has been driven too much. The guy only took it to shows. Again, it's, it's the nicest car we've had. Um, Three-speed on the floor, original six-cylinder, fully rebuilt. You know, you, you had the, the guy did it all when it was time. The painted wheels with the little Dodge cap. All steel body, zero Bondo. I have a picture of it, multiple pictures of it, all down to the steel. The body's so straight because of that. There's no Bondo, there, there's never Bondo, no patches in the floor. The underneath is impeccable. Again, I got pictures of it on the ad. Um, so, the only couple of flaws on the car are the occasional little stone chip, which are few and far in between, and then like a little chip on the hood area. That's about it. Because, you know, these, these hoods are, are BS. The design in this, you can't help but to... <laughs> but to bump it unless you have like three people doing it. Anyway, chrome is excellent. Trim is excellent. Everything works. Everything's been replaced except three things. And I'll point them out when I get to them. Kind of cool idea, a little nostalgia. Um, the body is the straightest body I've had. And I'm not just saying that, you know, laser straight body normally means like it's a nine out of 10 in terms of straight. This body is, there's not a ripple. Not a ripple. The vinyl, the, it, it's amazing. The car is amazing. All new mohair interior. So beautiful, beautiful condition. Doesn't even look like the people sat in it. It's all restored to factory specs and all done right again. So two things, three things, which are in the interior that the guy left original. The floor mat. Now look at this, 1936, a long, a long time ago, pardon my French, a couple little rips in it. This is in beautiful condition for something 36, what is that, that's over 70 years old. Now, if you don't like that, I got a brand new one. But he left it in there for nostalgia purposes to show the preservation of the car. Like I said, when the car was found in 95, it was excellent. I have a picture before when the interior was done, it looks like this before they recovered it and redid the interior. It, it, it was this nice. Second, he left the steering wheel untouched. So you see the Dodge Ram there, a little bit of the paint peeling on it. But look at the steering wheel, no cracks. People replace steering wheels, you know, in 20 years they crack because they use them so much. You know, 1936, no cracks. And just a little bit of wear. The wood on the dash is beautiful. I, I know the video's not doing it justice, but this is, this is gorgeous. And lastly, the thing that was not replaced, the little window crank, which works. Little, little AC, there's your AC from back in the day. Underneath the seat, it is factory correct. They did not skimp out. Normally they'll skimp out, you say, oh, you don't see the seat down there. Well, I'm gonna run a picture of it right now. You check it out, factory correct. Even on the passenger side, there's the original 1936 little tray that you would put stuff in. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Again, the nicest car I've had. And I had a, I had a nut and bolt restored Z28, and I thought that was amazing. 69 Camaro Z28 for you seasoned Dodge people who are looking at this car. This car is nicer. This restoration is nicer. I'm not out here to BS you, really. The car is amazing. The only thing a little wrong, I don't know for whatever reason, there's a couple little hairline cracks in this window down here. Now, leads me to believe this is the original window because this would not happen. 
So maybe the window was so nice, he left it. I don't know. The top of the car, just as nice as the underneath. Again, no cut corners, nothing. And I love the wheels. It gives it this military look with the green green, with the thick teeth looking amazing. Now, if you don't like it, you can put white walls on it. But I think this is the look for the car that belongs on the car. That's me. You see in there, the, uh, if you can, I don't know, the paint, the low use. I mean, I'll, I'll show you the undercarriage right now. I mean, if you can see it. Like I said, only driven to few shows. I've been trying to buy it for over a year and a half now. I loved it that much when I saw it. Like I said, the chrome, the trim, everything's been replaced except those few things. One of the coolest parts of the car, though, is the trunk. Now you say, Andrew, why the trunk? You know, well, first off, the quality of the metal. I'm going to have a picture of this on the end. I know it's a little dark where I am. I got the light. The light's not shooting this way. Trunk's amazing. The under trunk is amazing. The attention to detail on the restoration is amazing. The color is beautiful. I, again, I, I, I just, I'm excited about this car. This is a car to be excited about. 1936 plate, okay. Original seats before the recover. Does that look beat up to you? Absolutely not. He did have white walls on it at one point, but again, I think this is the better look. Look at the floor. A couple of pictures here. This looks, this looks like it was done before. So look at the wood. The wood looks in excellent condition. I mean, the car did not have a lot of use. There it is again. There's that original seat cover picture. Here it is right there. You know, I'm going to refocus, right? Refocus, make it a little easier to see. Again, I, I don't know what this one is. The guy didn't tell me. I don't think this is before or after. I, th I think this is just another one. Here, here, here. Here's the all steel. Look at that. This is why the car is as straight and excellent as it is. Now, I think I just tossed the picture of the car before over. Here's something cool. Motor vehicle stamp. Dated 1947. This is the car. This goes back to 1947. Okay. I got a book. I got the title before the guy bought it. I got the back of the title before the guy bought it. Here's the title. A couple more things. Now I just... I just had it. Everything's blowing around in here. I made a mistake to do this right now. So... Oh, I found it. Lastly, here's the car. When they pulled it out, this is a low mile car. There's no rust. So to think that they turned this in what I have to assume was low mile, low usage condition into something like this, you know, amazing. I gathered up the paperwork in the meantime. I'll show you the trunk one last time. Again, the trunk's excellent. The car's excellent. So, the trunk opens and closes nicely. It is heavy though. There you go. Single exhaust. The way it came from the factory. The fitment on the car is excellent. I mean, really though, it's a museum quality build. The car is that nice. This belongs on display. A little piece of description about the car, the story of the car. Talking about the guy. I don't know. I mean, I mean, look at the body. So, you know, there's not much I can say. I could tell you a little bit about it. As far as flaws, this and that, I, I showed you what there is. The guy spent 10 years doing this, this restoration bit by bit, his pride and joy. Again, you know, I mean, And it runs and it drives great.
I mean, it's mechanically inclined. I mean, I would drive this all over. You know, right now, I'll run some pictures of it. A couple little pictures I can't fit on the ad. So you saw those couple little things. It's hard to when I only have 24 pictures I can put on the eBay ad. So I mean, all of them will be on the website. But as far as eBay goes, where people are coming from, that is it. And again, if you want to put that original floor mat in there, by all means. But like I said, the guy left those couple of things there to show the originality, the low usage, the uh, preservation of the car in the time that he found it, and before he found it. All the gauges work, the wipers work, horn works. Mm. Yeah. So, so like I said, 1936 Dodge D2 Coupe. I mean, even look, you know, sometimes they'll skimp out on replacing the handle. This handle's perfect. Finish it in this beautiful green, all factory correct. Low usage, 10 year nut and bolt restoration, zero rust barn find that was preserved wherever it was. Um, so, thanks for watching. We will fire it up now. You know, I'm not doing it here. I don't want to mess around with the hood. So, if I'll, I've already recorded doing that. I'll run those clips in a second. You know, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you think this is a cool car. I mean, there's not a lot of them out there. Thank you. All right. We are on the passenger side. Again, I will not be opening it in the video. I'm going to do it, take the video here of it running. And then I just don't want to mess around with the closing the hood here. So, you know, there you go. Nice, clean, beautiful engine compartment. You see the original tags over there. The firewall is beautiful. The engine's beautiful. They managed to keep the original warning sticker. And there's a sticker over there I'll point out. So. I'm going to fold it up now, go to the other side, do the same thing, and then we'll fire it up. Pop the driver's side open. The firewall is gorgeous. All the black, the components, the way it's set up, the factory correct, the beautiful, the original style. Some of those original clamps over there. So we'll fire it up now. And, um... Yeah, here we go. Okay. It was actually the cold start the first time we did it before this when it was still in the shop.